Hi, I'm Paul Dvorak, editor of Wind Power Engineering and Development Magazine. Today, we discuss how a conventional wind turbine works. This is a model of a conventional turbine, often referred to as a horizontal axis wind turbine. That means its drivetrain, the, the rotor, the main shaft, a gearbox, and the generator are all pretty much in a horizontal line. Now let's go inside the nacelle and see what each component does. We'll start with the rotor, conventionally three blades. The blades essentially catch the moving air and turn it into rotary motion. Each blade has an airfoil cross-section, much like an airplane wing. Lift on the blade causes rotation. A useful rotation speed for a turbine is about 5 to 15 RPM. Here's the main bearing that supports the rotor and lets the main shaft turn. It's like a huge ball bearing, about six feet in diameter. Now, as you might imagine, there's a, not a lot of speed to the main shaft, 12 to 20 RPM on the high side. But the torque, the amount of twist, is enormous, many pounds feet. A common four-cylinder engine, an automobile engine, might have 150 pounds feet of torque. But the wind turbine shaft, for a common one and a half megawatt wind turbine working at capacity, would transmit about 700,000 foot-pounds of torque. But at that speed, 15 RPM, it's not too useful. A conventional induction generator needs about 1,000 RPM to produce useful electrical power. So our turbine has a gearbox that can handle that huge torque and turn the 15 RPM from the main shaft into something close to 1,000 RPM. So at the back of the gearbox, a high-speed shaft connects to the generator through a coupling. This connection space also holds a disc brake that functions just like the disc brake in your car. The brake is needed because when some event happens that might damage the turbine, say a fast approaching storm, the operator can send a signal to the turbine to halt the production. When this brake engages, it brings the rotor to the gearbox, the generator to a halt, and it holds it there until it controls signal that the turbine's safe to start again. Now if we walk a little bit farther back the nacelle, we come to the generator. Most land-based wind turbines use induction generators. That simply means there, there are two sets of coils, one that turns and one that is stationary. Now, uh, that action produces electric current. For more videos that explore wind turbine design, visit www.windpowerengineering.com.